So you probably clicked on this video because you want to know how can you crush the EWPT? Now that acronym is a bit of a mouthful, but just so you know, I passed the EWP2 back in September with a 92% on the exam, and I think I can help you pass too. Let's talk about that. I am the protagonist, I am a cybersecurity professional by day, and a wannabe mediocre kind of okay-ish hacker by night. Now, last year I sat the EWPT version 2 exam, and now I want to share with you some of the things that I did and some of the things I wish I'd done that I know that would definitely prepare you to crush that exam. Let's dive in. Now, firstly, you need to have the right mindset. This is not about going in there and thinking you're doing a CTF. It has aspects of a CTF, but it is not a CTF. The point of it is for you to learn how to perform a penetration test. You're not going in there to find a flag. You're going in there to look for the vulnerabilities, to test for web application vulnerabilities. And that is the way that the course is taught. And that is the way that the exam is set. And that is what you need to focus on. That is the first essential thing that you need to crush the exam. When I went into the exam, I had struggled a lot with the mentality that I needed to find a certain vulnerability and find a certain thing to be able to do it. And this made me really struggle a lot during the exam during that time and wasted some time for me. And so the, the thing that I realized was that having the right mindset was the key to actually crushing this exam on the first attempt. Now I have some tips and then I have some resources that I'd love to share with you about the EWPT. So my first tip is that you want to make sure, unlike me, to give yourself time. See, when I did it, I raced through the course. I smashed through all of the course content in about a month. And I was stressed out to the max. I'd taken as many notes as I could and did as much as I could. But I, what I would actually recommend is take two to three months to go through the content. It's about a hundred hours worth of video and uh, lab content and go through those things um, fully. Take your time. Don't rush it because that is where you will learn the most is from that course and from those labs. And going along with that is my second tip is to make sure you're taking a lot of notes. And this doesn't just mean taking notes on every single little thing that is said. This is also means organize your notes into some form of a cheat sheet because a cheat sheet will help you to be able to navigate back to where you were when you were doing the course while you're in the exam. You'll be able to quickly query for um, different vulnerabilities, different exploits, different little things that you might be confused about while you're doing the exam and you go, yes, I now I remember what that was. Yeah, that will be really, really helpful for you. My third tip is to make sure to get hands on a lot. Make sure that when you are doing the labs, you do them at least twice. Try to really understand the vulnerabilities that you're exploiting. Try to understand how you found them and what it actually means for a client or for a web application to have that vulnerability. And my fourth and final tip is to make sure that you focus on your methodology because at the end of the day, it's not about how cool of a hacker you are, what kind of exploit you can pull off. It's all about, did you cover everything within your penetration test? Did you make sure that you didn't leave anything untouched that should have, you know, been exploited or, or poked at to make sure that it does not have a vulnerability. And with that, as you have created lots of notes and made a cheat sheet, make sure that that is incorporated within your methodology. Make sure you have a checklist, some, some way to be able to say, yes, every web app that I've, I've been given in my scope, that I've actually gone through and tested against and made sure that I've tested against all the vulnerabilities that I've learned within this course. Now I wanna share some resources that may be really helpful for you if you are just starting out in web application penetration testing or web app hacking. There are really three main ones that I would recommend um, that are really helpful and that I used 
Um, the third, I didn't use that much, um, but I think if I went back and did it again to really solidify my learning, I would do this after each section. Uh, the first is to go through the Try Hack Me web app fundamentals plan um, path. This path will kind of give you everything you need to be able to really dive a little bit deeper into the vulnerabilities, uh, use the proxies a little bit better, and it will just kind of give you a different angle to approach things. I'm very much a believer in you do a course, but you also look at it from a different angle because someone else teaching the same thing may be able to explain something in a better way that clicks better with you. So try hack me is a really great resource for that. The second place that I would go is port swigger. See, there was a lot of times where I found myself going and doing the labs and going, I feel like I don't really fully grasp this vulnerability and how to discover it. I need some more labs. I need something else that kind of pushes me a little bit further to, to try newer things and to really expand my, my abilities in pen testing. And so I would use the Port Swigger Labs. Those Port Swigger Labs, they're free and you're able to test against specific vulnerabilities against web apps that are vulnerable in that specific way. And so in that way, you're able to then go and read the explanation and then try the lab and really, I guess, grow your ability in web app pen testing. And that's, you know, that's the key and that's the, the mindset that we wanna go into all of this is this is something that we want to grow in and learn. Now, the final resource that I wish I had used is Jushop or any kind of, you know, vulnerable web app that you can host on your own system. Um, I think I would have benefited a lot more from having a lot more hands-on, but blind kind of penetration testing. So going in there, not really knowing what vulnerabilities exist and actually trying to exploit those things that would have, I think, pushed me even further. Um, because at the end of the day, even though I passed with a 92%, I struggled, I struggled through that thing. I used all 10 hours up and, um, I wasn't really happy that, that it was as challenging as it was for me. Um, I wish I had spent a little bit more time practicing these things. So it wasn't as painful. <laughs> Um, going through it. Now, let me know if I have missed any tips or resources that maybe you used or maybe that you're using at the moment. Leave them down in the comments below and like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more content about hacking or cybersecurity, and I will see you in the next one.